Hello, I'm Brian Orm from Sawtooth Software. I'd like to speak for a few minutes about specifying attributes and levels within Discover CBC. CBC, along with other conjoint analysis approaches, involves specifying a list of attributes. An attribute is a feature of a product or service, such as brand, size, color, advertising claims, speed, or price. Every conjoint analysis study involves at least two attributes, and each attribute needs to be described using at least two levels. Here's the Discover dialog for inputting attributes and levels. This attribute, brand, has three levels, Samsung Galaxy, HTC One, or Apple iPhone. Other attributes in your CBC study might have a different number of levels, such as two, four, or five levels. We don't know ahead of time which brand respondents would prefer, so this attribute has no logical preference order. We specify not ordered here for the level preference order. The software will insert ratings questions for any attribute that's not ordered. Once respondents tell us their preference order, this does two things for us. Number one, it allows the software to avoid showing obvious trade-offs. Competing products within the same conjoint question where one is clearly superior on all its aspects to the other. And two, it gives the software the information so that when it computes the preference scores for each respondent, it can constrain the solution so that preferred levels always have higher scores than less preferred levels. Consider a different attribute, monthly talk time. We'd refer to this as an ordered attribute since everyone would agree that having more talk time per month was better than less. For ordered attributes like talk time, speed, or price that are described using sequential amounts, we generally recommend using about three to five levels, covering the full range that is realistic for the marketplace and that you need to include in your study to answer the business questions that matter. All other attributes held equal, we know every rational respondent would prefer more talk time to less, so this attribute's levels are arranged from worst to best meaning the first level, 250 minutes, is worst, and the last level, unlimited, is best. Finally, we'll cover a few rules to follow when creating your attribute list for your conjoint analysis study. Number one, don't include too many attributes. They can overwhelm respondents and make it harder for you to measure respondents' preferences very well. Next, CBC tends to work best if you can limit the number of attributes to somewhere around six attributes or less. Thus, you'll need to focus your study on the most important attributes. You could conduct preliminary research to learn which attributes to focus upon in your CBC study. Each attribute is assumed to be independent in a CBC or other conjoint analysis study. Conjoint analysis assumes that the total value of a product or service is equal to the sum of its parts, its attribute levels added together. So each attribute should be independent. It should mean a unique thing for respondents. For example, attributes like reliability and durability probably have overlap in meaning for people and do not belong as separate attributes. Attribute levels should combine freely. Conjoint analysis combines the attribute levels to create product concepts for respondents to evaluate. For optimal measurement of respondent preferences, each level should be allowed to combine with every other level. Only if a combination of two attribute levels was absolutely absurd or obviously impossible to the respondent should an attribute prohibition should be done. If you do specify that two attributes involve prohibitions, you should only prohibit one or a very few combinations. Too many prohibitions can lead to imprecise measurement of respondent preferences. The attribute levels should be short and concrete. Try to make your attribute levels have as few words as possible to convey the meaning. Remember, you can add the attribute label as the first column in your conjoint display, so this can help you conserve words with your attribute levels. Attribute levels should have specific and concrete meaning. So rather than say very expensive, you should say something like, it's $500. Or rather than say 5 to 7 kilos, you should say 6 kilos. Regarding quantitative attributes, like speed and price, you should ask from about 3 to 5 levels. And if you can select how many levels to use per quantitative attribute, make it the same across all quantitative attributes if you can. So if you have 4 levels of price, you should also use 4 levels of speed. 
Developing an effective attribute and level list to answer the business question is actually one of the hardest things about conducting a conjugate analysis survey. This brief presentation will hopefully get you on the right track.